everyone and welcome to Blind Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you some my project empties. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these so you know I thought might try it again and you know I've got different storage set up now where I'm at and so I thought maybe I'll actually do better this time because I can keep them in one particular area where I know, okay, Jen, you gotta use these up. So I do have quite a few here, um, but why don't we jump on in here and get started. I'm gonna start with the bigger items instead of the basket before I get into the basket. The first thing I want to use up, mainly because it's driving me crazy, that if y'all saw a recent video, you know that it's not spraying right. This is the Wet n Wild Matte Finish, Finishing Spray, or Setting Spray. The sprayer doesn't want to spray just right, so I'm going to try to use this puppy up. You know, I might have to put a different sprayer on it, but, you know, I'm still going to try to use it up. I don't like switching sprayers like that, but I will. And then the other thing I have here is the NYX First Base Primer Spray. Now, I have about half this bottle still left and I have mm, I'd say about a third of the wet and wild left I'm guessing here I mean I can shake it and y'all might be able to hear that there's quite a bit left to them but I'm gonna try to do both of these now there's I'd like to have them done in like a couple months at most like all these products but we're just gonna do like a monthly check-in or how often would y'all like to see a check-in you know, do you want it every month, every couple months, what? Let me know that in the comments down below. Then I also have the Forever Nude Sculpting Glow Palette. This has been in a previous one, but I've made quite a bit of progress with it. It's by BH Cosmetics. It's the Forever Nude Sculpting Glow Palette. I've got quite a bit of the blush gone already. I mean, I'm scraping the sides type thing on that. Then I've got a pretty good sized pan on... Well, for me, at least, because I don't use bronzers a whole lot. On the bronzer, which is the middle shade. And then the contouring shade. You know, that's got a pretty good size hole in it, too. And then the highlight. If y'all can't tell, I love that highlight. I mean, it's not as gone as the blush. But it's still pretty down there. And then this under eye setting powder, the yellow tone. At the far left on the top. It's a banana type shade. I mean, I can see a little divot there, but it's not anywhere near gone gone. So, or I haven't even hit pan on it. So, I do want to try to use this puppy up. I mean, I've had it for a while, so I want to do what I can to use that up. Then I do have one lipstick. There might be more in that thing in the basket, but this is what I have on today. It's Magnificent Mauve by Maybelline Color Sensational. I mean, if you can tell, I've used quite a bit of that, you know, and I've flattened it out practically. So, <laughs> but that is Maybelline Magnificent Mauve that I'm wanting to use up. Then some of these products you will see from previous attempts, you know, because I've gotten other products and I'm using other products and haven't finished them up. One such product is the Cody Airspun translucent extra coverage powder. I mean, I've used quite a bit since I did a check-in with this one. About an inch, inch and a half worth, I guess. So, but that right there is all I have left of it. I mean, it's probably about a fifth of the way to the end, I'm guessing here. Like, just guesstimating. So, that won't take too long to use up. And then, that's one of my bigger products in here. Now let's back up a little bit. Primer. I want to use up the e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer. I've had this for a little while. You know, I want to go ahead and use it up. It's not because I don't like it. <clears throat> All these products. It's not because I don't like it. It's because I just need to use them up. They're getting older or whatever. You know, so it's time to use them up and get them out. And then I've got a f couple different foundation-y type products, base, what I call base products. We're going to go from like least coverage 
to full coverage here. This is the Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation, and I believe this is in pure beige. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. And I mean, I'm getting down to the very bottom of this. Unfortunately, Maybelline does not make this anymore that I know of. Well, okay. They might make it, but they don't sell it in like Walgreens, Walmart, that type of thing anymore. But if you know of another product that you can get from like Walmart, Walmart Walgreens, drugstore based, that's kind of like this, the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. Let me know that in the comments down below because I'd love to try something new like this. I love how liquidy it is. I love how silky it is. It just feels so good going on the skin. And then I have the Found BB Cream here. Now this is in the shade Medium. This is 98% natural, by the way. And this is a pretty good BB Cream, don't get me wrong, but it's just not a favorite. So I thought, go ahead and use it up, get it out. Yeah, because I've got other BB Creams like the AOA Studio that I like even better than that, so, and that's a lot cheaper than the found. Then I have the, this is another foundation type product, it is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mousse Foundation, and I have the shade Classic Beige here. I've had this for a little while, I mean, it's a good foundation, it looks good on me, but I would just rather get rid of it. It is a travel friendly product though, so that's what kind of makes me think. Do I really want to? Do I really want in that? Do I really want to use it up? Because if I do travel like to Arkansas or something like that, this right here would be a good product to take with me because it's a squeeze tube instead of a glass bottle like most foundations anymore are. But I do have other foundations in the in my collection that are squeezy tubes, so you know. But I'm putting some of these products up so that I don't talk about them again. Alright, now, let's get into more face products. I've, here is a concealer right here. It is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. I've used quite a bit of this. I mean, I haven't had this that long, really. Like, maybe February, something like that. And usually a concealer will last me forever. But this has been my go-to if I'm wanting something liquidy. I love this, you know. Um, if you saw my recent favorites, you've noticed that I have been liking the stick concealers a little bit better lately. But if I don't go for the stick, I go for this. So, that is the Rimmel Match Perfection. Now we're going to backtrack a minute here because I've spotted a couple items that I had in here that I overlooked. And if I do get more samples, I'll be throwing them in this Project MTs as well. But this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. It's a little sample size. I mean, I haven't used it. Might have, like, tested it out once or twice, but, like, on the back of my hand to see if it matches. And it'll be decent for me. So, I want to use that up. And then I have the Hourglass Veil Primer. I mean, if y'all know me and for videos and whatnot, I like doing drugstore. The Makeup Forever HD, or Ultra HD, and the Hourglass, they're not drugstore. But they're stuff that I'd use, like, to go to church, or to go, I don't know, do different things that I'm not filming a video, per se. But, they I'll still use, you know. There for a while, I wasn't even using samples, because it's like, well, what if someone wanted to look that, you know, looked like that, or whatever. But, I'm just going with what I know, basically, right now. Alright, then I have another face powder here. This is the L'Oreal True Match Blend Super Blendable Powder. And I believe this is in the shade, yeah, W4. I mean, if you can tell, I've majorly hit pan on that. So, you know, this is a good travel-friendly powder. You know, I'll probably keep it in my purse, so it might take a little longer to use this up. But I do like having a colored powder to keep in my purse. Then I have a couple more, like, face-type products. Now, this here that I've got is the Essence 
satin touch blush. The lid has come off of it here, so that's partly why I'm wanting to use this puppy up because I don't like having things that the lids don't stay on. I mean, I don't know if y'all, this is the first satin touch blush I bought. I don't know if this is par for the course. I mean, I haven't tried a whole lot of Essence products. I have the Essence Matte Powder, but, and I used to have the uh, Essence I Love Extreme Volume, I think, mascara. Love that, by the way. But, you know, still, when you haven't tried many products and one does that, you're kind of hesitant to get another one. Then I have the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer Duo in St. Lucia, right here. I've hit major pan on the blush side here. I would say bigger than a quarter, you know, but it's a real pretty corally type shade, and then it's a cooler tone contour slash bronzer. Well, the first one, not this one, but I originally started using this for one of the very first blush and bronzer duos that I did back in the day, whenever I first started doing my makeup. Then we're going to go on to eyes. Let's do the eyes, y'all. Alright. Now this is going to be all about eyes. Eyeliner. Well, not eyeliner, per se. There might be one eyeliner in here, but, you know, eyeliners are something that I don't run out of very fast. So, you know, and I don't even get close to the end of one usually. Now the uh, Essence Super Fine Liner, which I don't have that anymore, I don't think. I might have, yeah, I do, I have a backup of that, but that's one that I do run out of, but most of them, I don't run out of them. Uh, now, oh, this is another concealer that I missed, I overlooked. This is the e.l.f. HD Concealer. Um, pretty close to, I mean, I'm scraping the sides on this already, so. But I do want to finish that off, too. That is a good one, by the way. And I've got a Essence I Love Stage Primer right here. Now this is a pretty good, decent eye primer. You know, I I used to own the Milani, and this doesn't, it's not as good. It doesn't have as much coverage as the Milani did, but it's still a pretty decent primer. Then the other eye primer I have is the Maybelline Master Prime. And I mean, I'm more than halfway done with this. And both of those are good eye primers. I'll admit, I haven't been using a whole lot of eye primers lately. I've been doing a liquidy base, or I've been doing foundation, or concealer, or another product here that I've got. This is the e.l.f. I think it's their Molten Liquid. Yeah, Molten Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in Rose Gold. This is a really pretty color. I mean... If I'm wanting something quick to just throw on that has a little bit of a color just to help give like um, something else like Amber Rush by L'Oreal uh, Boost, then I will put that on. And that is one product that I, yeah, I do have it. I was going to say, I don't have it right in front of me. The L'Oreal Amber Rush, it's hard to hold this up to show y'all without spilling it everywhere, but, you know, um, I mean, I'm at the bottom of this, like, to where, like, if I were to take a eyeshadow brush or something and scrape it, y'all might be able to see, but, you know, it's pretty far down there, <laughs> but it takes so little eyeshadow to do an eye look with it, so I do want to go ahead and try to use this up there, though. There's other uh, infallible shadows that I would eventually like to try, like the, uh, Endless Pearl is one, uh, there's other ones that I just can't think of right off the top of my head, honestly. Then y'all, I do have one eye liner, and that is the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Eyeliner. Not the Twist Up, the Sharpen. I'm not a fan of the Twist Up. I have a Rimmel nude one in my drawer over here, 
but this is the black liner. I love this. I mean, this is a repurchase. I've purchased this for a long time. It goes on smoothly in the waterline. Wonderful. Now, the retractable breaks a little too much for my liking, but it's still decent. It still holds. You just gotta fight with it a little more than the regular pencil. And the rest of these products in my hand here are all brow products. One is the AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. I believe this is in dark brown. Right here. And I have quite a bit of this, and I do have another brow pencil in there of AOA Studio. You can tell I've got quite a bit of this one left. Might help to... There we go. Got quite a bit of that one left. But... You know, hey, if I'm doing my brows, it can go quick. And then I have the NYX Automatic Brow Pencil here. Now, if you see these side by side here, the NYX is quite a bit shorter and is quite a bit thinner, too. So, it'll go pretty darn quick. But, both of those are great brow pencils. Um, I used to use the NYX Micro Brow, and that is a good one, but it's a little more pricey, so. But this here, I had gotten this a while back on eBay, <laughs> or no I didn't, no I didn't. I got this from a uh, beauty outlet back in Arkansas, so. Then the other products I have here in my hand, one of them I have almost used up if y'all can tell. It is the Wet n Wild Brow Pencil. And I believe this is in taupe. I can't really tell, unfortunately. But this one here is a beautiful brow pencil. It goes on so smoothly. and But the problem is, whenever you go to sharpen it, it can be a little difficult to sharpen. <laughs> and you end up wasting so much of the pencil because you're trying to get it just right. And then the other product I have here is the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint, right here. Now this is a real pretty brow product. It has a nice small applicator, and but you know I don't use a whole lot of brow tints, so I thought go ahead and try to use that up. You know, force myself to start using it more, and who knows? Maybe there will be other brow tints that I buy once I get used to using it. Uh, on my face today, all I used was like five different products. I showed you the lipstick, but the other products, I'm going to try to do a video in the coming week, two weeks, of only choose five, where you can only choose five makeup kits to make, or five makeup products, not kits, five makeup products to keep on hand in order to do a full face of makeup, or whatever you want to do makeup-wise. So, that doesn't include my brushes, y'all, or skincare, <laughs> but... Five makeup products. So I'm going to be doing a video like that soon. I'm thinking about doing a back to school series, including like hair care, skin care, talking about makeup application for glasses, different things like that. And let me know in the comments down below if there's something you would like to see or if there's something you have a question about. Because I'm happy to do a video on it if I know that you would like to see one on it. So, and if you want to, please follow me on all my social media, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that. I'm most active usually on Instagram, but I'm trying to at least get it to, to where it sends everything to Twitter and Facebook too. <laughs> um, Snapchat, I'm not really active on. I just recently, today, signed back into it. But... You know, I hope that you do follow me, and if you want more information about who I am and all that, you can find all that information as well as recent videos in the information box below. And I hope to talk to y'all very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.